Well, I know the, the, the big word is excited, so I'm going to try to stay away from that as much as possible and use something different. I remember seeing that on TV a couple of years ago, a little clip of everybody saying excited. So, um, so we're thrilled. We're jacked up for this year's class. Uh, you know, really, just it, it's a, it was a fun class. It was a fun recruiting um, year for us. I first of all, I want to thank Jerice Olson and Katie Grable for all the work they put in this past, just this whole year with the recruiting. I mean, they did a phenomenal job going out and um, just the contacts that we've made and, you know, getting a chance to watch all our student athletes here. So I want to thank them for all the work that they put into the, the recruiting for this last year. Um, I'm just going to go alphabetically, um, probably a little bit easier for me to, to remember that way, but we're just going to start out with uh, Addie Bowers is from St. James, Minnesota, and, and Addie's a, a power pitcher, you know, somebody that we feel, um, if you look at her numbers, I mean, 700 strikeouts so far in her high school career, um, has a good rise ball, good velocity, um, good change, you know, somebody that we expect to uh, kind of come in here, you know, and just be more of that power pitcher for us, and, you know, we have three pitchers in this year's class, and they all complement each other very well, but Addie's going to come in, and I think just... You know, a three-sport athlete just going to continue to get stronger, so we're really looking forward to see what Addie does when she gets on campus. Um, Stark Cortez stars uh, coming in from Grand Terrace High School in Moreno Valley, which we've had uh, some good success out of that area before with our rec recruits. And Star is very, very much a utility player. I mean, very versatile. We look at her as potentially playing second base for us. Um, can also play third, can play short, played outfield. Um, triple threat hitter, really good speed. Um, she's about a 2-6 down the line. So, which is in softball is obviously very good speed there. Um, somebody can lay down a bunt, hit for power, just a middle of the order type of hitter. Um, adds a lot of excitement when you watch her play too. Just really fun person to watch play when you're watching her compete. So, excited to have her in, in our program as well. Um, Caitlin Dunford, uh, Star and Caitlin are actually teammates in their summer summer team. And Caitlin is a left-handed pitcher. She's coming in. I think she's ranked 23rd in the country on the last ranking um, as a pitcher and somebody that we feel is gonna. You know, good, really good control of her pitches. You know, good drop ball, good change. Um, makes the speeds very well. You know, Caitlin, when I talk with her, she's 17 going on 35. I mean, every time you talk with her, I mean, it's just very mature, just a great family, just very, um, I don't know, the conversations are just very, I feel like I'm talking to an adult when I talk with her. So just, you know, that leadership, those type of standpoints, I think that's something that Caitlin's going to bring into our program. So very excited to see her on the mound as well. Um, Macy Fry, Macy's coming to us from Rosemont, Minnesota. Very, very good high school program. They won the state championship a couple of years ago. Um, Macy, again, very versatile athlete. Uh, we look at her right now as an outfielder, but she used to pitch. She's played uh, some infield as well. A lot of power, a lot of speed. Um, it's a very strong arm, cannon for an arm. We had, a, had her at camp here a few weeks ago, and just, I mean, just watching her throw, just, you can just see just the velocity, and she's coming back from an injury, so I just know she's going to continue to get stronger as she gets, uh, gets healed up here for this next year. Um, Maddie Wilm. Maddie's a pitcher for Maple Grove, Minnesota. Um, Maddie, we're fortunate to get, um, she was coached by one of our former pitchers, Whitney Johnson's her pitching coach and kind of Whitney, I guess the one she was describing Maddie to us, she just said dynamic. And I think when you use the word dynamic as a pitcher, that's something obviously that kind of excites you as a coach and watching Maddie pitch. She's just, I feel like just a bulldog on the mound, just competes and she's always out there trying to win. And again, good velocity, good mix of speed, somebody that we feel has a huge upside when she gets on campus. We are looking forward to working with her as well. And then our last one's Jasmine Yassayan and Jazzy's just, and again, another athlete, um, can catch, play third, play short. Um, I think something for her that really, besides just her, I think her personality in the field, personality out the field was great. A lot of power, um, but she was all named all state in California as a junior, and I think that's something that's very, very difficult to do. And so, um, all six of our student athletes, I mean, just very, very thrilled to have them in our program. Just great families, great, um, great character, great student athletes. Um, I think it's a very athletic class, probably one of the more athletic classes that we've had for a while, just throughout the whole class, and I'm um, really excited to get them on campus, and so I had to use that word once today. So I'll open that up for any questions. Was uh, building pitching depth and emph in emphasis with recruiting this year? Because, you know, there were a lot, of, uh, a lot of long games for some of your pitching staff last year. Was that kind of an emphasis looking into recruiting? Yeah, you know, Paige is done after this year. Um, Laney's senior this year, so that's something we knew that we're losing two of our Upperclassmen, so we had to make sure that we kind of focused on pitching a lot. Uh, I guess you know, with the uh, California signings, you know, had a good history with those. What's it like having that kind of pipeline between California up to North Dakota State? Yeah, I mean, it's been very good for us. You know, and, and there's some people down there we have some really good relationships with, and just kind of trust and just their their feedback. And um, you know, I think the programs that these young women are from, you know, just trust their coaches. They have very good organizations. You know, we're, we've been fortunate to get some of the top organizations in California the last few years, and. Um, I think that's something that we're really looking forward to as we, you know, continue our recruiting is just those uh, relationships that we've been able to build throughout the years. Recruit now in Minnesota and then head out to California. I guess I mean. Well, I go to California. I let my assistants go to Minnesota. <laughs> 
You know, it, it is. It's worked out for us. You know, I think we've always kind of had that Midwest and West Coast type of recruiting. And, you know, we've been down to Iowa and Illinois in the past a little bit here. But, you know, it's been working out pretty well for us to go in those directions. Doors are open now with the success over the last decade that even five years ago you may not be able to get into. Are these the kind of girls that you could, you wouldn't be able to get maybe five years ago? You know, I would say over the last couple of years we are kind of getting some. Um, you know, I think just the overall success probably of our program, and I think just, again, it goes to those relationships. And we've kind of changed a couple of things the last couple of years, probably after COVID, of how we've kind of approached some things. And, you know, our goal is always to try to go out there and win a conference championship, but also try to get a, win a regional championship again. And I think we've, uh, as we've gone out, we've really tried to make sure that that's something that's an emphasis when we've talked with people, talked to the recruits, and really kind of narrowed down. It's probably made things a little bit more narrow in our recruiting, but definitely it's, it has changed the last couple of years. Recruiting of pitchers over the years, has it changed at all? I mean, are you prefer the power pitcher? Do you prefer a finesse pitcher or, or the mix? I think with analytics, things have changed a little bit. Um, you know, like I mentioned, the three of them here, they all complement each other very well. And so I think it's going to be it's going to be kind of fun because you're going to see lefty coming in, then you're going to see it with, with um, Caitlin, and then you're going to be able to come back with maybe with Maddie and, and Addie. And then also we have, you know, pitchers that are still here on staff and stuff. So we're going to be able to do some different things and kind of look at some more analytical matchups, I think, as well, because that's such a big part of our game nowadays. And so we're truly trying to, I guess, as we recruit, looking at those type of things as we're recruiting. So we want to have a little bit of everything, I guess, when we're pitching.